Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues. So right now we're playing as New Sterling's Brotherhood. Yes, that fourth brotherhood under Unknown Mesmer. That's amazing that we're still a brotherhood. Now I apologize for the lateness of my video yesterday because, well, when I was uploading it at midnight, I accidentally pressed the scheduled button for today. For the video today so I accidentally delayed it so my apologies I didn't really mean to do that uh, I guess I'm, I'm failing to a degree by making sure that my videos are out on time in a proper fashion so my apologies um, I'll try not to do that again but I want to warn you that not today but starting tomorrow my videos will be a little bit more scripted or more thought out with just without any input from you guys because I'm going to be away. Um, that being said, if there's anything you want to say about the Iron Alliance mod or and or what direction I should be going or what direction I might be going, it's best to leave those comments on this video t basically today because starting tomorrow I really won't be able to get any sort of time to get actually any sort of feedback from you guys as to what I could include. Actually, let's start. Getting some more motorcycles. I'm gonna get some APCs. Um, that being said, right now you just saw me justifying on the dead horses. Why am I doing that? Well, let's take a quick look. So, Kaiser is at war with MCR. They're killing each other eventually. Kaiser might go for the Forgers or Navajo Nation, maybe. They definitely don't like the Mormons. And if they go to war with the Mormons, then maybe, just maybe, um, then I can go to war with them at the same time. You okay, Bink? I'm also joining about my cat. So, if Kaiser goes to war with the Mormons, that means I might be able to go to war with the Mormons too, and fairly easily be able to take them out. Right, Bink? Give me just a moment, guys. My cat wanted to sit on my chair, even though anytime I play on my computer, Binky wants to sit on my chair. Right, Bink? You good? Yeah. Come on, take. Sit down. Sit down on my chair. Come on. So that's my plan. That we could become Christian Brotherhood members, but like I said earlier, um, oh wait, there's only seven. What are you guys on here? Um, just like what I said, like in the last video, that video before that. Ooh, very interesting. Let's just say that uh, the next campaign, we're going to become a little bit more religious because the nation I keep that I'm thinking in mind. They are going to uh, um, be interesting. We'll just put it like that. I can't, I can't think of anything else to say. So, Anyway, I've got some cough here. That's very hot. Binky decided to sit down, and he's now he's taking a nap. Right, Bink? That's right. Cool. So, dead horses. Um, oh, that's, that's Yinta. That's Yinta up there. Which we still want to kill. Yinta. Yinta. However you pronounce it. The war drum beats. Some thousand. Well, not bad. Not bad. Against robots, they probably won't do very well. With the war drum beats, what are they doing that? Oh, justify war goals time, only 10%. That doesn't sound very interesting. Now, it's come to my attention that because I have a Discord um, server, which you should totally check out if you haven't already, uh, someone has informed me that the mod compilation by XCAS, X, whoever, has added in the Iron Alliance into that mod, as well as the Pharaohs, which sound very interesting to play as, and Petro Chico. And, oh, they're dying. And the Free State Remnants, which I'm not sure where they're at. But, that sounds very good. Sounds like a lot of fun. So, if you haven't downloaded that mod from X, S A S, X, C A S X or something, that compilation, try it out. Because I tried that before. It was okay, but now since they have added even more sub mods into that compilation mod, I think it'd probably be worth taking, out, taking another look at it. But Kaiser Legion is doing a great job against the NCR. Holy cow. Army of Mobility? Well, you better get an army together because Kaiser's walloping you. The, actually, the NCR has a f 100 less divisions. Yeah, 100 less. That's not good for them. Also, here's another question for you right now. For my support companies, what do you think I should show on, show on, put on my infantry divisions? Now, I already have incinerators. I'm going to put on dogs very soon once I have enough dogs. But what else should I add on? I want your input. I don't want to use the same things all the time, so please let me know in the comments below. Uh, next up, we will want scrap tanks. Hmm. 
air power. We're kind of already doing that. Specialized auction. Don't need to focus on the navy, which is very nice to not have to focus on. Rapid prototyping. So, um, considering the, the length of this campaign as well, I think I'm going to plan on this campaign going on for at least four more days, maybe five more days. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen exactly, but... See, oh, ooh, more stability. Oh, we can go to war against a forger sometime. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I do want to get some power armor, because since we got some major buffs of power armor, I definitely, definitely, definitely want that. Demo technology... Uh, oh, that's so good. Oh, we definitely want this. No, this uh, New Sterling's Aggression. But let's go ahead and get... Fracturing the Forgers first, because you never know when we might go to war with them. The least useful slaves are Settlers. Weak-willed, scrawny, and hard to lead. Can the Iron Alliance find any use for these degenerates? In the words of a long-dead Raider Chief, any slaves, a good slave. Oh, we're still a <clears throat> Raider Brotherhood. Now that's a wild combination. Absolutely wild. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize building all this extra stuff first. We already, of course, are still out of scrap metal. Uh, you know what, actually? Put you back at the top. Build, repair all this stuff, but keep building that. That's actually really, really important. Mm, scavenge for old world tech. That could help us produce things a little bit faster. It's only 40. Power armor technology, which I'll have to do eventually. You know what, I want robots. Give me more robots for now. This stuff, it's okay. I mean, a lot of it's not really useful, to a degree. Ah, oh, child soldiers. Ah, oh, I love it. And we're still mobilizing more. Beautiful. Ah, oh, internal replicators. Nice. Ah, oh, are we done? We're done with our land doctor. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Engineering stuff. More research speed. Alright, so, after we take out... The reason I went to... I want to go to war with dead horses, like I said earlier, is because then we'll have access to the Mormon Alliance through... Who is this? Crazy Horns? But that's not... That's not the only reason. It's because you can go to war with the Mormon Alliance, but you can also go to war with High Chapel, or maybe the Grand Tribes, or the Sorrows, or the White Legs. This opens up quite a bit more territory that we can go to. And even though Kaiser might go to war with the Mormon Alliance, if Kaiser goes to war with the Mormon Alliance, and they don't have dead horses, they can't really go to war with them. I just thought of that. They might actually attack me if I take out dead horses. Um, assimilate the people. Hmm... Graham's execution. Oh, they cannot exist. Okay, well, I, maybe I can do that for them. Loyal tribe. Loyal tribe. They have no loyal tribe. The 80s. The white legs are killing off the tar walkers. Rag, raging. Ragging. Raging. Mutant hunter. White legs. Oh, they got a lot more manpower. Quite a few more divisions. Yeah, the problem with playing as Iron Alliance or the New Sterling's Brotherhood, you just don't have enough resources. Look at this. It's so bad. Oh, nice. Heavy lifter bots. Hmm. Armor's 25. Piercing is 15. 35 hardness, and this is 30% hardness, 12 breakthrough. It's a little better. If I want the best heavy robots, with probably... Let's take a quick look. I don't think I've ever used Mark II robots or Robo Brains in my campaigns before. Which one do we want? So, this one's more defense. This one's harder. This is more hard attack and speed. And piercing, same cell usage, slightly more cost, more reliable, w w quite a bit less armor. Oh, but this has a, light, a little bit more breakthrough. Frankly, to be honest with you, I really like that armor, that plus 15%. I'll probably just go with Sentry Bot Mark IIs, actually. Let's do that. Let's start throwing on uh, producing some of these guys, if we can. Nice. Let's get some doggos. Oh, we can't get any doggos on our boys yet. Soon. Now we can get some doggos on our boys. Well, maintenance companies are still not bad. It just lowers our organization by a little bit. A little bit more weight. Way better reliability, which is not bad at all. Less piercing. And a little, just a tiny bit more manpower. Mm, if I should throw maintenance companies on my infantry divisions just for fun this campaign, let me know. I'm going to throw in some doggos. We get slightly less organization. Oh, there goes the Republic of the Rio Grande. More soft attack, more recon, more breakthrough, an insane amount of suppression, which we don't really need. But I want doggos on my boys, because we get cybernetic doggos, and I think it's worth it. Cybernetic doggos. So good. Melee weaponry, firearms, composite materials. Uh, actually, energy. Let's get a tiny bit more energy. That sounds like it's worthwhile. Scavenge for old world tech using power armor. 
using vehicles. Yeah, let's do power armor probably. That can help us produce things a little bit quicker unless we need more of this, which we do, but not really. Um, I do want to maybe raise my stability maybe a little bit more. Maybe, maybe not. Material designer, planes. Actually, what about planes? That's, that's ships. Medium aircraft, more reliability. That's okay. Light aircraft, not focusing on that. Heavy aircraft, strategic bombing. Who uses strategic bombing? Close air support and bomber manufacturers. It's close air support planes, and that's just a close air support. That doesn't really help me either. Chief of the Air Force, Raider of the Skies, Fighter Production, which doesn't really help us that much either. Reconnaissance Expert. Okay, plus 5% recon, more description and speed. Not bad. Field Medic. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Oh, we can't do that though. Not bad. What do we just. What do we do? Oh, planes. Yeah, nice. Rotary Engine Bombers. Um, less war support, more stability and research. Oh, that's so good though. Even more stability and research speed. But I can produce more stuff. Let's see. I can produce more civilian factories by 10% if I take this, if we get it done. I don't remember the other benefits. Let's just do it. Use our power armor. Um, how many more days we got? We have quite a few days left. We have about, about a month. Not bad. The Chief's Guard... Uh, they have quite a few divisions. Not that many, though. Not they probably they probably camp here. So let's get salvaged car. Don't really need that actually. I want APCs. So plate additions. And how many bombers do we actually have? Because their range is decent. We have ten. Ten bombers. That's amazing. Scientists are slaves. Nice. Enslaved scientists. More research speed. A little bit more political power. After we did the forger focus. New colors of Mormon question. Oh wait, we get fit. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Bigger guns. New Sterling's aggression. New colors. Now that the Iron Alliance conquered the Painted Men, the Raiders have sated their thirst for slaves for now. The Iron Alliance also gained something else from the conquest of the Painted Naked Men, adopting some aspects of the tribe's culture. Now, New Sterling is now a canvas of crude graffiti. Alright, I guess we don't need any more stability, because since we'll get 15% more. Great. Great. Just like Frosted Flakes, right? They're more than good. They're great. Even though I actually don't like Frosted Flakes. Yes, I'm a heathen. I don't really like Frosted Flakes too much. It just tastes too sugary to me. Um, what do we need? We need more factories. We need more resources and stuff like that. And we added the doggos already on here, but I guess we didn't really need that many. Do we have doggos as a battalion? That'd be really cool if we had doggos as a battalion. I think that'd be really awesome. Actually, I could throw on... I need to create power armor. But I just don't, just don't have any resources to do that. Oh! Did we just make another... Yes, we did. And I do have to get some heavy robots in here. The light robots aren't bad. They're just... They could be better. They could be better. We'll see what happens, though. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll throw in... Maybe I'll just keep these as light robots and then make some heavy combat robot divisions with APCs for... As in, like, they're, like, almost, like, pseudo-tanks. Like, pretty much more mechanized stuff. So, once we're done with the dead horses, we'll go to the foragers, which... I actually have quite a few ways to get into our own territory, which isn't good, but against robots, they probably won't be doing very well. The town becomes a city. Oh, not bad. That's a quite a few. A police protectrons, people support. People support, please. Come on. Nice. Let's go ahead and go to war immediately. Nocturnal warriors. I have no allies to speak of. Oh, and they're attacking me. I don't think... The AI would be that bad to attack me, but then again, this is Hearts of Iron 4. Welcome aboard, and they're level 1. Southern Men, Infantry Division, Men of Chalk. Well, I wasn't expecting this, and we gotta maybe keep an eye on our energy cells. Actually, we... Yeah, we were getting pretty chummy with the Mojave chapter, but even then... If we want more resources, we're gonna have to kill people. More construction speed, good. We're repairing this stuff. Um, do that. The infrastructure can wait, probably. Just, I don't know why they'd be hammering themselves against me. I'm not even trying to move. I've lost nine guys versus getting close to 600. But you know what? I I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Oh, they're on scraping the barrel now. Um, I don't want to use my planes because I want to get as many planes as possible at first. I mean, 10 is not bad, but I'd rather have 50 at a time. And these guys are attacking me, or they were attacking me for a while like crazy, that I'm not really too inclined to 
Push too hard, really. More weekly war support. Um, you know what? That wouldn't be bad to have. Exchange for a little bit more organiz for a little bit organization for now. I think that'd be okay. Soltrons, yeah, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Copy's pretty good. Ah, miniaturized circuitry, nice. More research speed. Get some reinforced rate. Let us stockpile a few more energy cells. We have Atsan declared war on the Chuchin. It's an empire, even though they're supposed to be at war with the Rio Republic of the Rio Grande, even though they're not really touching each other. Petro Chico's coming back, though. That's interesting. NCR is slowing down the invasion of Kaisar's Legion. The Brain Stills winning against New Reno. The Troll Warren are struggling now a little bit more with the Western Brotherhood, but what else is new? And we're still getting attacked. I don't understand. Dead horses. How many more dead do you want? You have lost over a thousand already. Like, now this is Hoi 4 AI at its best. New colors, very nice. Um, now, I'm not going to attack the Mormons in this video, but I really should know which one I should do here. Oh, we get a, a war annex go against Yinta. I'll probably go to go w war with the Mormons, just because, like I've said, we know which direction we're probably going to go in the next campaign when we become very uh, holy. So, I don't think I want to do Mormon Forgiveness, even though that sounds really awesome. That sounds really, really awesome, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Uh, New Sterling's aggression sounds pretty good to me, though. Now that New Sterling's ambition fills the Raiders, the Iron Alliance is ready to strike. All it needs to do, though, is to select the, its next victim and the next nation to be pillaged, raided, and enslaved. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. 14 planes. Um, I mean, we're winning without the planes already. They're tiring themselves out. Give them a few more days for them to kill each other off, because i got to stockpile a few more energy cells to begin with. So, Oh, I need to research some resource extraction as well, but we got quite a few days before we can do any of that. New Sterling's aggression. Ah, oh, new graffiti. Not bad. That really does help. Well, we need more support robots, but we'll probably mostly need them for building stuff up. Uh, you know, I could probably take up doggos just a little bit, just because, well, we need to build some more lifter robots. And we don't use have that many infantry divisions, so that's pretty good. Should I throw any other support companies on my uh, robots? If I should, let me know in the comments below. I already have maintenance companies on them, maintenance companies, but other than that, I'm not sure if there's really a need to throw anything else on here. Alright, we've had a good amount of fun with them. Let's put them out of their misery. We have about two weeks, a little less than two weeks, to kill them using our robots. 2,000 losses, 15. I'm liking this so far. Uh, how far do we want to go, though? That's my question. Do, should we begin to justify on High Chapel? Sure, why not? Oh, wait, maybe we should wait. 15%. 30 days. If I waited, that'd be a 30-day... Mm, I have to wait 30 more days before I can justify again. Okay, the Chuchin Empire declared war on La Costa Cafe Nada. Cafe Nada, whatever. Uh, 15% of 150. That's math I don't want to do in my head. I think I'm just going to keep the way it is for now. It's not like 15% is a huge number. Or huge percentage, really, so I'm going to wait. And over here, we might need a little bit more help. So go ahead and do that. Oh, we were already helping. Nice. Not a lot of damage, but, you know, it's still some. Nice. Rotary engine bombers for better bombers. Let's go ahead and get some more industry. You need some more resource efficiency gain. Thank you. Oh, you already pushed in. Go ahead and just keep them there and just to circle them. And actually, we don't actually even need the planes here. We're just going to encircle the entire army. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? I want you to struggle a little bit more. Don't kick too many divisions out at a time. There you go. Now kill them. Gun truck APCs. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. 12 divisions of these guys. Just beautiful. Oh, we're out of energy cells too. God dang it. Even, oh. That's not good. Uh, you guys come that way. Yeah, do that. Hold them in place. We need to get a, di a division up there. Let's do something like that for now. Oh, crap. Now we got encircled again. God dang it. I was hoping I could kill these guys off, but maybe not. Now I'm going to get encircled myself. Well, 
That was worth something, I guess. And I can't get any more energy cells, so... Hmm, what to do, what to do. Actually, I'm going to lose that robot. My bad. I didn't mean for that to happen. Well then, whatever. What has happened has happened. And I'm not going to show you that I'm perfect, either. Let them do their thing. Let's recoup a few more energy cells. I lost a robot division, but, you know, whatever. Acceptable losses. Ah. Uh. Well, we've lost quite a few. That's really, actually, pretty disappointing, but... Oh, well. Um... Yeah, I need to build energy stuff. I need to research that next. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Alright, guys, come on. Keep attacking me. Good. We have no energy cells, but we should still be able to hold out, no matter what happens. Well, I would hope so. Maybe not. Go ahead and throw another division over here. And then... Energy cells, energy cells, energy cells... There's really not that much for energy cells. So, the river gods, eh? Convoys. Um, we're running out of things, out of focuses to do. Well, let's just go with bigger guns, I guess. Bigger, better, boom. What's more to say? Obtaining howitzers is the next logical step for us, and with such firepower, the crew will be able to topple enemies and empires one deafening blast at a time. You guys... That's a problem with this, with Iron Alliance. You just don't have enough stuff. Oh, nice. Breakthrough, that's a little bit ahead of time. Go back to industry. Yeah, give me more of this. If we have to retreat, so be it. That's fine with me. Who knows, maybe they'll attack me like crazy. Well, it's not paused. There's losing a couple guys here and there. I almost had an encirclement. I was so close, but no dice. Throw in that one division, and that should not help us at all bricks. Alright, well then. More resource efficiency gain. You know what? Just, I could pull back. They might attack me like crazy if I do that. And I don't want to take too many losses. Go ahead and come back here. My bad, guys. That's okay. We don't need to suffer too many losses. And they're going to be attacking me once again like crazy. So, really, I lost a division. Not quite ideal, but just hold on for now. So, at this point, we're just going to have to wait for more resources. Even though they're attacking us like crazy. Um, that's not good. Yeah, I just need more energy cells. Hmm, that's disappointing. Effects when removed. Encourage weapon production. Factory output. Hmm, yeah, not really much I can do there. That's why I still have infantry, just in case. You never know when you might need these guys. They don't take energy cells for the most part. Oh, discovery of old world tech, nice. We got slightly faster construction speed of factories. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. All right, so if there's any guy who can give me more resources, I will totally take him. 48, stability, division, not really. Uh, robots. We're still trying to produce some, but... Get the infantry in there now. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Get the infantry in there. They should be good to help hold the line since they don't use energy cells. That's why I can't rely on just robots or planes or power armor. There you go. Now we should be able to hold pretty darn well. These guys aren't bad now since we throw on some few dogs in the demo companies long range radios nice and all but need more resources definitely 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 need more resources why does no one like me why won't you trade with me oh we're still losing probably from the robots still most of the robots are yeah we have no infantry in here yet there you go we got some of our uh, boys in there mm hmm Defense, defense, defense. Power, armor, more hardness. I like that. Hmm. Recon, division speed, decryption. Oh, wait. Oh, how do we get rid of this? We're at war. Hmm. Oh, we go to close economy? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to do that. I'm glad I, I Oh, thank God. I caught that. Thank God I caught that. Thank the Lord. So... 
Uh, just, I want more civilian factories. I want to build, 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 build. But at the same time, I recognize that I might need some more infrastructure to get more resources. Energy, energy. Ooh, circuitry. Yeah, do that eventually. Right, Bink? You okay? Standing up a little bit? That's not bad, energy. It's not bad either. Not bad. Alright, so we get, definitely got more resources now that we can work with. So that's great. Our support robots really got hit pretty hard. Hmm. Gotta love that coffee. Nice. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We're gonna keep building this up. Uh, go ahead and repair that. New Reno is... There finally goes New Reno. So the Brain actually won. He almost lost. But he finally won. Kaiser is now is definitely struggling against the NCR, which is great to see. Troll Warren is struggling against the Western Brotherhood, which is great to see. Okay, Yinta. Um, thank you for joining the war. I... I might give you some stuff. I might give you this little Hanksville. <clears throat> while I take the rest of this. Okay. Well, thank you, Yinta. I'm going to appreciate that for quite a while. Um, these guys can go die now. Move on down here. That'd be great. I never thought I'd be thankful for the Yinta to come in and help, help us. Come on down that way if you can. Uh, throw on two more divisions over here. Let the infantry rest. You guys are all going to die now. Come on. Awesome. Bigger guns. New Sterling's power armor filled with New Sterling's ambition. The boys managed to find some T-45 power armor suits scattered throughout New Sterling. Although the scavenged T-45s aren't the strongest type of power armor, they will undoubtedly serve well into future combat. Ah, oh, now this is beautiful. This is what I wanted to do earlier. But you dang bastards wouldn't let me do it. Oh, I don't want to attack with that. I'd rather lose combat robots, obviously, than anything else than my infantry. Yeah, that's right. You're going to starve and die. Starve and perish. Or become my slaves. But really, I think I'll just make you starve and die. Cool. So, thank you very much, Yinta. You are going to get some definite rewards after this war is over. Saved by Yinta. I don't know if I'll call the video this. This video that. Um, just go right ahead. They have, like, no divisions left. Good. Good. They've lost, like, 16 divisions, which is great. We get even more resources. Amazing. Um, oh, more research, more, oh, it's 2281, happy 2281, everyone. Composite materials, not bad, power armor, I'll do that eventually. New Sterling's armor, gotta wait on that. Good. Uh, when are they gonna capitulate? That's my question. When are you guys gonna start moving, though? That's another question. Let's move on down, guys. And there goes the coffee. Come on, get down there. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have lost that one robot division, but... Eh, to a degree, maybe it saved me on my energy cells for now, since we only get 68 a day. Which isn't quite ideal, and I still need to research some energy capacity and stuff. Ooh, scrap gun trucks. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, where is that? There you are. I'm gonna start making some of these bad boys if I can. Ah, uh, there we go. So, like I said earlier, I'll give these guys a, 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 a tiny piece of territory. There you go. That's all you need. There you go. You got Hanksville. And I got the rest of it, which I greatly like. Now we're going to be next to the good old High Chapel folk. And I definitely got to save up some energy cells for this. Because, oof, last time I was not ex I was not prepared to lose all my energy cells. But you know what? That's the risk we take. Um, I've never played as High Chapel. They get a lot of daily political power gain and war gold justification time on them, which isn't great. But that political power gain is pretty good. Let's see, what do they got? Political pride. All right. All right. We're still trying to go to war with them in about 18 days. So, honestly, even though I might have lost a division, maybe I was struggling a little bit. Whatever. You know, we, we're still on board, still making great time uh, doing things that we need to do. Encourage women to serve. Standardize the military. Old world tactics. Hmm, they could become pretty fairly militaristic. And they might even be able to join the Brotherhood. Well, maybe not. Take in robed wanderers. 
interesting. Steam powered extraction. Three dimensional printers? I think so. I think very, very much so, even though I've got other things I need to research and do. Uh, oh, you're making some of these. That's good. What would happen if I threw on APCs? What if I change this to combat robots? Just remove that and then add on another combat robot. That's 19. Overall, our speed goes down just barely. A little bit less HP. A little bit organization. A little bit... Oh, recovery rate still stays the same. A little bit more soft attack, hard attack, air attack, a little more defense, a little more breakthrough, a little bit more armor. Um, Overall, that's not bad. We, leave, we use less manpower, use more energy cells, more combat robots, work camps. I don't have enough... Uh, Heavy robots to do anything here anyways, just yet, so. Ooh, get yeah, definitely do that. Can we go to war with them yet? No, we cannot. Very soon, though, very soon. Wow. Look at that. That's nice. That's good stuff right there. Um, power armor, motorized... Does, I don't think... Does this work for APCs? Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. We get about 1.24 political power a day... Uh, in about less than a year, we will have enough energy cells, but then again, energy cells are not bad. I'm going to wait just a few more days, just a few more days to get some more energy cells, since we only get 112 a day, which isn't good. And we're still producing a few planes. Can they reach? They can kind of reach the high chapel. They got about 13 planes, which isn't very much at all. Production. Yeah, I need some more of that circuitry, man. That circuitry is so hard to get. Next up will be New Sterling Superiority. New Sterling now hosts all sorts of technology, guns, and power armor. The Iron Alliance's crew is finally truly content taking jet, scavenging, and raiding as much as they please. We've created a true raider's paradise. Yes, please. Yes. Right, Pink? All right, my bad guys. Binky wanted to be let out of the room, and it seems like now is a good time to go ahead and go have a good time with the High Chapel folk. Uh, and they're attacking me immediately. Can they pierce me? Yes. Oh god, no. That's that can. Oh god, I did not expect that. Um. Okay. Well then, throw on some more infantry. That's why I use the infantry. Just defend, defend, defend. That's all I care about right now. Defend, defend, defend. And thieving numbers. Oh wow, he's level six. Holy cow, that's pretty good. He's becoming more of a mountaineer, a little bit more of a hills fighter, an organizer, and a commando. They will probably attack us again fairly soon. We won't have a lot of power to do so, though. But we definitely want to get some more energy cell conversion. Multi-purpose equipment. That's very, very important. So we can make sure we have a steady supply of energy cells. Ah, uh, what do they even have on their divisions? They can pierce me. Maybe my... They have anti-tank, yeah. Even if you have just, like, a single anti-tank support company, you can still get pierced pretty darn easily. Yeah, and I don't want them to pierce too many robots. I don't want to take too many equipment losses. Just because equipment is still, you know, still good to have. Um, we're still doing that. That's great. But I think we should still be able to produce more. I know. I should probably stop focusing so much on civilian factories. But the more I have, the more I can produce. And I love producing stuff. Even though I'm not really sure what else to produce. Because we have enough scrap material for a while. And I can't make any circuitry. So that really sucks. Um, if I want to attack, though, I'd probably have to wait on that. I want to bait the enemy into attacking me a little bit more, so maybe I'll get rid of you guys. Come on back here for now. Since you're, you'll be right here. Let the robots look like they're not going to be defended very well. Uh, they're running out of manpower for now, which is great to see, which I love to see. Yeah, let them just come on in. Maybe get our general a little bit more XP. He's relatively new at being level 6. But do we have anyone else? Smirking Radnor? Becoming more of a trickster. That's good. Uh, Bullet Eater hasn't done very much. He's almost an infantry leader, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, anything else? Loss is 57, which isn't good, but versus 1,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. Multi-purpose equipment. Very good. Uh, conversion speed bonus. Even more energy cells. We get 157 a day, which isn't bad whatsoever at all. Um, just let them keep... Just keep attacking me, guys. I mean... It's going to be great for you if you keep attacking me. No manpower. Oh, they just raise their conscription level, it looks like. And I want to abuse the Hoi 4 AI as much as possible, because before we end this campaign, which we're not going to do for a few days, maybe for another week, I don't know, I want to take out Kaiser's Legion. So we need many more divisions. 
So we're going to be playing this for a while, acquiring more resources until we kill off Kaiser's Legion, who is slowly doing well against the NCR. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's take a quick look at that. Hmm, Brotherhood War and War. So the Brotherhood... Oh, nice. Wow, the Brotherhood's lost quite a few divisions, or manpower compared to the Troll Warren. The NCR Legion. NCR's lost that many. Versus... Oh. Kaiser's actually doing pretty darn well for himself. Then again, it is Kaiser, so... Uh, let's do some industrial fertilizer. More manpower sounds great to me. And I'm feeling pretty darn good on my energy cell usage right now. Pretty darn good. You look very weak, which I love a whole lot. Uh, planes. Planes, planes, planes. 13. Are we not producing any more planes? No, we, we're not. Because we're out of circuitry. Ah... Uh... Our trade influence is too... Wow. They're normies. The Brains Wrath are normies? What about... Um... I like that. That's good. Mojave Chapter. Minus 92. Our trade influence is too low. What, what if we increased our... Thingamabob with them? Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. I can't. So we're pretty much on our own. Nice. Another division to replace the other one we lost earlier. And let's do the artist. The Iron Lance managed to capture Painted Man's leader, Quick Asp. Under our Iron Fist, he will be able to help our crew make better graffiti and will work wonders for the morale of his men. Or really for our men. Cool. Give me a few days. I want to see if I can take maybe half of y'all. And take half of y'all to take Red Henry. Well, they can not pierce me for the most part. Very good, very good. And then we get immediately attacked. And they can still pierce me. But with enough divisions, we'll be doing okay. 2,000 losses versus 58. Not bad. Not bad. Give every guys a little bit more time to recover, reheal, um, get more organized. They're still out of manpower, which I love. Salvage gun truck, great. Salvaged APC, heck yeah. Oh, wow. Some of these divisions are extremely weak, which I love. And you guys. We're going to attack here next. Give me half of y'all. Don't use you and you, but give me do that. Weaken them further. They're dug in pretty darn well, but they're nothing compared to robots. Nothing. Good. We're building even more infrastructure, which is great. Um, you know what? Eventually, we're just going to build all this. So... Oh, three-dimensional printing. Awesome. What do I want to do next? Energy. Energy is going better than I thought now. We're doing this stuff, which is good, which we'll do more of. Let's get Sentry Bot Mark IIs. Ooh, more breakthrough. I love that. Oh, we're getting attacked down here. Good. And we don't have quite the superiority that I want to attack yet. Give me happy y'all. Do that. Give me one division from here. Attack from three different tiles. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Benjamin Hayes, you've got nothing on us. And in the next episode, we'll probably take out the Foragers. Go back here, take them out. Maybe go to the Sorrows. I don't know. Or maybe the Grand Tribes. Basic tools. Nice. Flexible designs. Let's do that. Followed up with... Combat Energy Weaponry. Well, that's not bad to do. Support Companies. Well, I'm not really using them. How about more maintenance? No, that's still ahead of time. Engineering. Encryption. Good. Now, we're almost done here, guys. Give me happy, y'all. And attack this way. Ah, and there goes Petro Chico. They almost made it back, but... Nueva Atzalan is looking very disgusting. Who is this down here? That's still Nueva Atzalan. That's disgusting. Ah, oh, no wonder I don't want to ever play back in Mexico. Mexico was... It's fun initially, but then you have to work through all those waterways, and Mexico is just kind of like, Ugh, why Mexico? Why? You got a lot of army XP. I like that. We're definitely going to change up this template in the next episode, though. Probably. Probably change it up. Alright. Get Escalante. Go ahead and do that. Uh, that's not really good to it. Uh, you might be able to attack there and win. If that's the case, they can attack in the north, too. Good. Oh, look at those militia divisions. They're just so weak. Let's go right ahead, guys. Push them out. We're going to end this episode by taking a total of two enemy nations. Advanced components, power armor. Yeah, I'll do. I'll, my last division I want to make is power armor, but I want to make some APC robot stuff. 
Okay, Navajo Nation declared war on the Foragers. I was not expecting that. Holy cow. That's interesting. I hope the Foragers win, so when I go to war with them, I can take out the Navajo Nation as well, but we'll see what happens. Um, come on, we've got Bat... Batney. Batney! We've got quite a few robots. Good. I love it. A little bit more of this. I love it as well. And I'm going to throw on Power Broker. Hmm. Oh, that guy's pretty good. Quick Asp. That'd be good to get him. Expanding the gang. I love the hardness, but... I love this, too. Well, power Armor hardness, too, but... Just by World Goals time, that could be pretty useful for us. But let's go with Material Designer and do... Planes. Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. Oh, tanks. Tim's tanks. Tank. Tank. More reliability. Or we do Punishing Raider. I like this, but we can't do that. So let's just go ahead and do... I don't want to lose defense. Nicole Knight. And yeah, come on, let's finish these guys off. They've only lost 3,000 guys. 3,500, 3,500 guys. I take another tile and they're pretty much done for... Come on. I know we like playing with our meat, playing with our food, but whatever. And let's finish off with the Mormon question. Let's do the river gods. Now that the crew took over Yampa, it's time for Iron Alliance to use them. Since the Yampa were primarily a river tribe, they were experts in traversing the rivers of the wasteland. With their experience, the boys could use Yampa's enable talents for raiding, slavery, pillaging, and of course, good old-fashioned trade. And take Vermilion Cliffs. I love Vermilion City, even though it's Vermilion, Vermilion Cliffs. God. Too much Pokemon. Whew. Even though I haven't played Pokemon in a long time. Industrial Fertilizer. Let's go with Automated Harvesting. Awesome postcode modulation. Let's do that. And that's all the time for that we have today. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, like I said or mentioned earlier. And I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.